What's up, YouTube? Your boy back once again with another sport topic. And today we're going to talk some football. We're going to talk some Houston Texans running backs. The Houston Texans running back list goes like this. Lamar Miller as your number one back. Alpha Blue as your backup back. Tyler Irvin, who they use kind of in a tweener position. They kind of use him as a receiver slash running back, especially with the injury to Will Fuller. And also they really draft him for special teams to be a punt kickoff returner. But he's more used as a tweener. They, they try to use him in the passing game a lot and try to put him out wide and put him in the slot. So he's kind of like an in-between person. Deontay Foreman, the third-round draft pick. And Akeem Hunt, um, the guy who's been on the team for the past two seasons. Now, I know Lamar Miller is listed as number one back. But I'm going to be honest with you. Deontay Foreman, the third-round draft pick, is the best back on this team. He's the best running back on this team. And even though Lamar is the um, starting back, by the end of the season... Foreman is going to get more carries, and it's going to end up being the starting back, and then you're going to end up next in 2018, your starting backfield being Deshaun Watson and Deontay Foreman. Now, actually, I think Deshaun is going to be – I think that might be your backfield later on in the season, but that's a subject for a whole other video. We're just talking about running backs right now. And to be honest, like I said, Deontay Foreman is the best back on this team. When we, draft, when we signed Miller last year, in like probably like after the first, like, Seven, eight, nine, ten games. I was like, ah, I, I don't feel it. I don't really feel it with Miller. Like, I, I don't know. It's just something about him. I don't know what it is, but it's just something about him. And, like, I quit to tell people, if you say that I'm comparing him to Foster because he's not as good as Foster, and that's the reason why I feel that way, I, okay, I agree. I ain't going to say no more. You probably right. You might be right. That might really be my issue. Until I seen Deontay. Foreman, and I'm like, nah, it's not that I'm comparing him to Miller. I mean, I'm not that I'm comparing him to Foster because Miller's not, I mean, uh, Foreman's not running like Foster, but I like the way that Foreman runs. It's something about Lamar Miller, like, he doesn't hit the hole like he's supposed to. He like second guess, like, I think this the hole, it might not be the hole. Should I hit that hole? And he's a half second too late. And what could have been. A five-yard gain is a three-yard gain. What could have been a 10-yard break? And he maybe bust and get to the second level and turn that to a 20-yard gain. It's only a five-yard gain. He leaves a lot of yards on the field because of how he doesn't hit it with uncertainty. Like, he doesn't know when he should hit the hole. It's like, he second-guesses himself. He, it's like he doesn't know how to run. Now, he's fast. Now he got speed. And if he gets to that second level, he can break one. But he can't get to the second level because he's indecisive. He's completely indecisive. He doesn't know what he's doing. So you can't give him the ball 20, 25, 30 times a game. Like, he's not a feature back. He's a complimentary back. He's really, you really need him on sweeps and tosses and things like that. Get him onto the edge and then break him outside. But you can't do that every single running play. Foreman, you can give him the ball Right now, no matter where he at on the field, he gonna bust it through. Now he's not gonna get. Now, he might not break big yard gains like like Lamar Miller, but he gonna get you significant yards. He gonna grind it out. And he has the ability to do it. But he's not gonna do it because he, of course, he's not as fast as Lamar Miller. Alpha Blue. Alpha Blue is not that good as far as a pure running, pure running back. But he's very key in pass blocking. And those are two things that you have to do besides running the football. Two things at being a run back. Being a pass blocker and holding on to the ball. He doesn't fumble. And he is he's, he's actually probably the best pass, by, pass blocking back. And you need him to be, like, that's the reason why he's on the team. Like, people are like, well, Mar uh, Alpha Blue, sorry. As a running back, yeah. But he's very, he's, he's the best pass blocker. So that means... When you when he's on the field, you don't know if he if they're going to run or if they're going to pass, because if you're a bad pass blocker, the defense knows when they see you on the field. Oh, you about to run the ball. Like if Lamar Miller came, if Lamar Miller can't do pass blocking, when they see Lamar Miller, oh Lamar, oh Lamar Miller, it's, it's a running play because they not it's a running play because he's not a good pass blocker. It's either a running play or they passing it to him. <laughs> it's one of the two. He about to get the ball in his hands. Alpha Blue. Even though Alpha Blue's not that great of a running back, but Alpha Blue do run the ball. It's games that Alpha Blue's been the starting running back, so he does run the ball. So they do know that he can either run the ball or he can pass block. 
that's the reason why Alpha Blue, for you people who wonder why Alpha Blue's still on the team, that's the reason why. I would have cut Alpha Blue last year because I would have cut Akeem Hunt because, you know, actually technically coming out of camp, they cut Akeem Hunt, but signed on to the practice squad and was able to bring him back in the middle of the season. I, I would I would rather roll with Alpha Blue, but I understand why they did not understand why they not why they're gonna continue to run with Alpha Blue because of the pass blocking ability. So I think Lamar Miller, he's your big payback. You are gonna keep him. Um, he's not gonna get cut. Alpha Blue is the pass blocker. You are gonna keep him. Foreman, I gotta say my opinion is he best back on the team. They gonna keep him plus your third round pick. Because of the injury, because normally they keep four backs. Because of the injury to Will Fuller, him missing, him, de- him missing two, three months. Now you've had Braxton Miller miss last game, something with an ankle or something like that. And um, also Hopkins missed last game, some hand issue. So you're kind of thin at the receiver position. They're going to make sure that they're going to keep Tyler Irvin because they're going to be using Tyler Irvin in special teams and they're going to be using him in the passing game. So he's definitely going to make the team. And because of they're going to put um, Fuller on IR, that opens up a receiver position, opens up a spot for the, for the 52-man roster, so he's not going to get cut. And then we're going to go to Akeem Hunt, who I think is a very special black. I think Akeem Hunt is very special. He has – he's faster than Lamar Miller. He has a certain type of speed. He's one of those special players. He's actually the third fastest person on the team behind Wendell Williams in the front of um, Will Fuller. He has a special type of skill set. And it it's like every time he touches the ball, he's an inch away, a second away from making a big play, from making a, spa- making a big splash play. He's like one cut away from making a splash play. He doesn't get it all the time because he doesn't get that many carries. But... I think they're going to keep him on the team, even though he missed last game. But I think because of the way I said they normally keep four backs until the end because of the injury to uh, uh, Will Fuller, that's how they're going to be able to slide and get, and keep in the sneak in five backs. I think they're going to keep him, and they're going to use him on third down. He's a great third down back. He's a very specialty back, and you're going to be able to use him for the specialties. So, I have a homeboy who is a huge UT fan, and he always talks about how UT – is DBU. I think, I told him this before, that UT is actually running back you. Earl Campbell, Ricky Williams, who I think is the best college running back of all time, in my opinion. The best college back, running back I've ever seen run was, uh, was Ricky Williams. To a lesser extent, Priest Holmes, and also um, Cedric Benson and Jamal Charles. Of course, none of those three are the greatest Earl Campbell and Ricky Williams, especially in college. But they were they were, they were decent. Deontay Foreman doesn't have that same name as at least four of those five. Because he probably had a bigger name than Priest Holmes did in college. But I think that he, I think he's actually the best back in this whole rookie class, to be honest with you. I think he, he's him, it's out of him and Joe Mixon. Well, I know Joe Mixon got the off the field issues, but as a running back, I think Joe Mixon is is legit. I think Joe Mixon was better than Dalvin Cook and better than Leonard Fournette and be, and better than Christian McCaffrey. And I think Deontay Foreman's been all of them except for maybe Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon might be a little bit better than Deontay Foreman, but Deontay Foreman is right there. It's one A, one B. Deontay Foreman is we got him as a steal in the in the third round. I have a classmate who was very mad and upset talking about Rick Smith made an unnecessary draft pick when we drafted Deontay Foreman. And during the draft, during the second round, I looked at uh, my cousin during the draft, and I said, the Texans are either going to draft a linebacker. I said, they, I said they're either going to draft Deontay Foreman or they're going to draft a linebacker to replace Cushion. They drafted a linebacker. Third pick. I said, because I know the Patriots had two picks before we picked, and also the Colts. The Colts, the Patriots, Colts had one, the Colts had one pick and the Patriots had two picks. Or the Patriots had two picks and the Colts had one pick. I don't know. It was those those two teams had three picks in front of our third round pick. And I said, if Dante Foreman makes it past those three picks, the Texans are going to draft them. And then when Cushing went up there and announced Deontay Foreman's name, I said, I told you. We because I think they feel the same way that I feel about Lamar Miller, that he's talented, but you need somebody else to run with him. Somebody else who can dominate the ball. You can't do that with Alpha Blue. 
and you can't do that with Akeem Hunt or Tyler Irvin because both Tyler Irvin and Akeem Hunt are specialty backs. They're not pure running backs. And then Alpha Blue, he's a bruising back, but he's not that good at bruising. He's better at pass protecting. Dante Foreman is a better running back. He's a better pure back. And they know that. We know that. And I think he will be the feature back midway towards the end of the season. And who knows? Because Foster had injury issues. He didn't play that long. And most of the time, he only played one full season. That was in 2010. Deontay Foreman might be able to be the best back in, in the uh, franchise history. Like, subscribe if you haven't. Comment below if you haven't. Click that bell to get more videos. I do this every day. If you want to disagree with me, if you say Lamar Miller is the best back on this team, think Akeem Hunt's the best back on this team. If you actually like Alpha Blue to be the running back, comment and let me know. I'll holler.